Hello there, everybody. So today we are going to be talking about the last form of text uh, placement in photos. And this one is going to be what I call negative space text. And it this is one way of doing it where you cut out the words so that they fill in pictures inside of another picture. Uh, we're going to actually be doing one across a white background, but we're still going to use several pictures. So the first thing you want to do is pick a new one. I'm going to pick a long uh, picture. I'm going to do like Instagram story long. So it's going to be really uh, horizontal. All right. And then as soon as I've chosen it, um, I'm naming this one Iceland because that's the word I'm going to use because I'm going to use pictures that just came from Iceland. So now I'm going to start placing my pictures. So to find them, there's two ways to put them in. You can um, uh, open image as layer and then I can go search through my pictures. So I'm going to go to, um, I've created a file called the whatever file and it's just a bunch of pictures from like different things. So I'm going to choose this guy and I'm going to just keep doing that. So I'm going to add probably about six pictures and then I am going to start back up again. Now I have placed six images for this picture. Now I am going to keep it at six even though Iceland has more letters than that because I'm going to be able to then um, have a little bit of freedom. I'll just make one a plain color in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start using the text and I'm going to um, write out each letter on a different layer. That way I have control over each of the letters. If I write them all on one layer, I have to just commit to it doing whatever it wants, but and I can control each letter separately. It's going to work a lot better for me. So <clears throat> I want to add it as a layer and then I'm going to put, um, I'm going to make them all uppercase. So I'm going to make sure they're all caps locked. Uh, I'm also going to make it bigger and I'm going to just choose right away what my text is going to be. So I want it to be bolder than this because you want to be able to see the picture. Notice how like you can only see a tiny bit of this picture. If this was cut out, you'd hardly be able to tell those were waves. So let's go into here and let's find a really bold one. Um, that's okay. Let's see if I can find something bolder than that. And take your time when you're choosing your your font it's uh or choosing your picture you want to be or choosing your yeah your font you want it to look just right i think this one will work we'll just leave it for now i can always go and change it a little bit later but i think that'll work for now so now i'm going to go over here add another text and then i'm going to just go see and again it's a little small but that's okay we'll just leave it for now and we're going to move. Oh, yeah, it sized up. All right, so there we go. So now I'm going to finish writing it out. <clears throat> I'm just going to pause. So you don't have to watch me create different layers. Pretty much every time you want to make another one, you just click and tap. And you got to um, kind of tap to the side. You got to make sure that you're adding another layer out of the way. Otherwise, it's not going to work. <laughs> All right. All right, so I'm going to do that and keep on writing out Iceland and then um, I'll be back. Now that I have my letters all in here, they're kind of hard to see, so I'm going to have to be careful. I want to make sure that one letter sits on each of these um, pictures nice and evenly. So this might mean I'm going to have to move around my letters, I'm going to have to move around my pictures a little bit, just so that I don't have pictures doubling up or overusing here. So like I'm going to move this guy over here, um, like that. I'm going to move him up here. And I'm going to go get the C back. And I see how the C is encased in that piece there. That's what I want. I want to make sure that that is what happens. So I'm going to do a little bit of work making sure that each one of these is in their own picture. Remember, I don't have enough pictures for it. So I might have two overlapping, but then I'd want to have those two pictures, on those two letters on one. See how that D is crossing over into the horse? I would want to have two letters in one picture, not two pictures in one letter. So that wouldn't be allowed, but if I had a D and the A in that landscape, I could make that work. So I'm gonna do a little bit more working, moving around, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. So now I spent so long clicking these away, I actually started thinking I was on a different video. So just so you know, this piece of the assignment might take you a while. You might forget 
what you're doing. It's a lot of clicking and moving. So notice how now each letter is on its own picture and so I'm ready to start uh, the next step. Notice right here, I could not get this picture to be smaller and I wanted to have this tip of the mountain behind the D here. And so what I did was I just took an eraser and I erased where that A would be present. So now we're on to our next piece. We're going to make all of this Iceland text be on the same layer. So what you want to do is you want to right click and you want to merge down. And you're going to do it again. So you're going to right click merge down, right click, merge down, and we are just getting them to be all on the same layer. This is going to make our next step much easier. Now you want to stop as soon as you get to a picture. You don't want to accidentally merge all the way to your picture because otherwise this next step isn't going to work. The next thing you want to do is just add an empty layer and you're going to put it beneath your Iceland layer, and you're gonna choose a color. Right now it can be any color, just as long as it's not the same color as your text, otherwise you're gonna have a hard time seeing what you're doing. So I'm gonna take the paint, and I'm going to, I'm gonna make it like a grayish, I'm gonna make it kind of a bluish grayish, because everything's kind of blue in this picture. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just dump that right in here. So now I've got Iceland, and I have, I didn't put on the N, so I need to find that N before I keep going, because otherwise it's going to make things difficult for me in the future. So that's what I'm going to do. For much deliberation, I found that whatever I do, no matter what I do, if I merge that N into a something, um, it deletes it. So what we're going to do is just keep on keeping on and keep that N on its own layer because it's apparently grumpy about the whole situation. So uh, sometimes that happens and you just kind of have to work around it. So first of all, we have our um, layers here and we have our uh, section here. So what I'm going to do is now take the magic wand tool and I go to my layer with all of the um, letters on it and I'm going to click right on that open space. So as you can see now, it's uh, selected all the way around it. So what I'm gonna do now is I want it to be selecting the letters. So what I do is right click and I go invert selection, just like that. So now that I have an inverted selection, I'm going to go to that layer with the colors, with the color blank on it, and I'm going to press delete. So once you have that done, you can see the D already has gone away. I'm going to then take away this. As you can see, I'm going to click here so you, each one of them has now been placed with that letter. So that is the first piece of it. Now I have to get this N in here too. The other thing you can do if you're having trouble with it is you can actually go in and let's say right here, you can actually do it individually. So let's say I don't want to lose the inside of the D. I could do it individually and just click on the D. Make sure I, or let's click on the L. Take the magic wand tool, click anywhere, then click on it. And now I go to the layer and I press delete. And then I keep going back and forth to each of these. And as you can see, if I delete that now, it's now, you can see the little miniature version there. It's now got the center of the letters. So you wanna keep on going back and forth and click to get rid of them all. So uh, I'm gonna do that real quick. Now I've got my um, Iceland stuff kind of put together. I've got um, each thing. Now this one looks like it's white, but you can see the center of the picture is just off. So what you can do if you have that happen is go to the layer, make sure you have the selector chosen and you, oopsie boops. Um, you might have to use a little finagling. You can actually then move your picture over so it has something more interesting that you're looking at, just like that. So now you've got, I've got my Iceland a little bit more viewable. So as you can see, it's, it's, in my opinion, it's a little funky because I think that the I and the C are a little far apart, but 
Um, I do kind of like the concept of it. I like how it started. The biggest thing, though, that is distracting me is this gray. It's too blue. It's too dark. So what I'm going to do first is um, I'm going to see if I can just dump paint into it so it changes. And so I'm going to, to protect my work, I'm going to click on it here. And then I'm going to click select all. No, not select. Select pixels. Still not right. It's not selecting correctly. Let's just click. There we go. So now I'm going to dump a new paint in there. Let's go very light, but not white, because you'll be able to tell the difference. So that's a little better. So if I unclick, I like that a lot better and then I can go in or I could leave those. Um, I could add a little bit here. I could put a little bit of distance. I could change where this is by moving it around a little bit if I wanted to. Otherwise, um, this is kind of the concept of um, of doing this. Now this is the more difficult way of doing it, but if you did not want to put a picture inside of a picture, this is the way to go. Um, on my main screen here is the other one. Pretty much all I did was one picture on the bottom, then I put, so I chose water for this one, and then I put this sky. I did the same thing I did with the Iceland words, except for I kept it all in one word. Um, I would choose a more clever word than water. I was just using this as a tester. And then what I did is I just selected that word, and then I deleted, I select inverse and deleted everything around it so that I could have just that one showing through to that one. But if you wanted to create more of um, kind of a collage of pictures, this is one way to do it, especially if you ju just wanted to have like a white cover. Don't do a blank cover where you did an ink drop like this unless you have more than one picture present, just because otherwise it'll be kind of boring. And you want to make sure that it's a negative space blending of two pictures, or you want to make it so that it is um, uh, negative space um, with two, one picture inside of another picture. The last thing I want to talk about before we get started and or before I let you go is you have to make sure that you edit your pictures before you put them in. This is a perfect example of your pictures going all awry if you have not edited them. So make sure that you go through whatever pictures you're going to use, edit them first, going to image adjustments or using a different site. Photor works a little bit better for editing. It's a little quicker and it has a few more features. It lets you see the pictures a little easier. This has an editing software that's a little better. Do that first and then export them as JPEGs and then bring them in to your project altogether. You can always edit them afterwards, but it is going to get significantly harder to edit them once you've started placing them and it's a higher chance you'll forget to do it all in all, which will then make your picture look not as nice. So that is the end of this demonstration. I hope you found this helpful. Good luck with your picture making. Bye!